Give it up for Elish Stribley. Give that one more time for D. Kelly. We're in a, yeah. We're in a Big Brother program and he brought me to do comedy, so. <laughs> it's not going well. Uh, I, uh, I just got back from Nashville and uh, what are you whispering? What's up? What's going on? Oh, do you like this shirt color? How handsome I am? Oh, well, thank you. Uh, you know, uh, do you like chocolate? <laughs> nice. nice. What, one time I asked the girl that, I was like, hey, do you like chocolate? She's like, is it gluten-free? I was like, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, <laughs> Speaking about that, I'm not dating women who have cats anymore, which means I'm not dating white women anymore. Uh, <laughs> Oh, man, it's okay. Uh, <laughs> I, uh, I don't even remember what my first joke was going to be. Uh, Nashville. Nashville, thank you. I just got back from, uh, I just got back from Nashville, and uh, it, it was such a funny flight. I, I put on my headphones like I was just going to sleep the whole flight, um, and this guy next to, me, next to me, he was like fidgeting around a lot, and he presses the call button. And the stewardess comes over, and he says something, she says something, he says something, she says something. And then the stewardess taps me on my shoulder and goes, excuse me, sir, can you turn on your music? And I was like, absolutely. I was like, but this guy, you know, he could have just asked me, and I would have turned down my music, right? So I did the right thing. I took off my headphones, and I sang for the next two and a half hours. <laughs> Amazing grace. That was my first song, right? I love it when you call me Big Pop, Pop right? <laughs> That was my second song. My third song, hands, touching hands, reaching out, touching me, touching you. Da 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 da. Sweet Caroline. Yeah, do you, <laughs> yeah, that was that was the end of that joke. Uh, no, I, um, I really enjoy doing the stand-up comedy, and uh, I started when I was at CSU. I graduated from CSU, um, and I'm, um, thank you, thank you, yeah. It wasn't that hard. I, uh, <laughs> <laughs> on my last day before graduation, I was leaving the library, and this guy came up to me. He's like, can I talk to you for a second? I'm like, absolutely. He's like, um, do you believe in heaven and hell? And I'm like, 100%. He's like, God forbid, I don't want this to happen, but God forbid, if you were walking across the street and you got hit by a bus, where do you think you would go? I was like, I don't know, 30 feet down the road? Like how? <laughs> how fast is a bus moving, you know? <laughs> and then they gave me my degree. They were like, there you go. Uh, <laughs> that was the final test. <laughs> I told my little cousin, I was like, hey man, I'm gonna go do a comedy show. And he was like, really? You, you think you're funny? And I was like, oh, thank you. Uh, <laughs> And he's seven years old and I absolutely love him. So I was like, you think you can do better? And he's like, yeah. So he runs away, he comes back like 15 minutes later and he's like, um, I have one. I'm like, all right, let's hear it, Solomon. He's like, uh, I wonder what the Terminator would say if he was black. And I was like, what? He's like, I'll be Barack. And I was like, oh. So I knocked him over. <laughs> I was like, that joke sucks. You guys are welcome. Uh, <laughs> no, I, uh, what else did I want to talk about? I, uh, oh, my zipper's down. Well, this is not a clean show anymore. Uh, <laughs> hey, I'm, so, I was, <laughs> I'm sorry, you guys had to see that. Uh, I have so many jokes I want to make, but I can't. Uh, <laughs> this is Christmas time for the holiday. Say that again. I'm just trying to win with my zipper down. That's. <laughs> All right, guys, let's, uh... Okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Jesus, well, I'm disqualified. Uh... <laughs> this is fun, this is a lot of fun. Earlier, ma'am, you were laughing at all the other comics. Yeah, all, uh, that's what you're whispering out? You could have just said that. <laughs> You let me go five minutes with my zipper down and you, you just made me feel good about myself, but you could have just been like, hey, your zipper's down. And I was been like, oh, thank you. <laughs> that's a savage, I don't know if that's sabotage or a or what, but. 
I am, I am, I am bus. You can't tell because I'm chocolate. All right, let's. Uh, <laughs> I'll do one more joke. I don't. Know, this has been weird. Uh, <laughs> I. Uh, yeah, like I said, I got back from Austin. On my way back from Austin, the plane was like shaking a lot, um, and we had a lot of turbulence. Um, and the plane was dropping really suddenly, and the pilot came over to intercom and he goes, excuse me, everyone, we're gonna have a really bumpy landing. And it got as quiet as it is now. Everyone's like, oh no, this is gonna be, you know, terrifying. And the plane's shaking, the plane's shaking, but he left the intercom on so we could hear him talking to the co-pilot, which is never what you wanna hear, right? And so, <laughs> the, so we're flying, we're flying, we're dropping a lot, and I'm looking out of the window and I can see the tarmac, and we're getting closer and closer, and I hear the wheels come out, and the tires touch the tarmac, like, skirt, like, skirt. Kind of like Cardi B, the music artist. I can't really do it. <laughs> the tires go, skirt, and instead of landing, we, like, bounce and continue to take off, and over the intercom, the pilot's like, yeah, nope, and we just keep flying. <laughs> All right, guys, my name's Ian Lestrew, and thank you guys so much. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Thank you.